Right, I'm going to show you guys how to work out the Laplace transform of the function t squared times e to the 4t, and we will not be using the definition because the integral part will be kind of crazy. Anyway, as we can see, we have a product of two functions, namely t squared, and the other one is e to the 4t. And we are lucky because we have two really nice properties on how we can take care of multiplying by a function with t to some power, and the other one is multiply a function by e to you know, at, right? I will show you guys how to utilize those two properties, and I will show you guys the harder way first. So this is the first way, right? Let's say I know for a fact that the Laplace transform of e to the 4t, this right here, we know is 1 over s minus the a value, which is 4. So 1 over s minus 4, this is what we have. But this is not what we want, though, because we want to have t squared right here, right? And now here's the deal. Suppose you know this. When you multiply inside here by t to the first power, what we will have to do on the right-hand side is go ahead and differentiate this with respect to s only one time. And don't forget, we have to multiply this by negative 1, one time. Okay. I multiply by t, this is what we have to do. But if you have t squared, okay, that means you multiply by another t right here, namely t squared, right? You're just going to go ahead, differentiate this. Again, that means you have to get the second derivative right here, so let me put down d2, ds2. And also, multiply by negative 1 one more time, so it becomes negative 1 squared like that. So, this is now the equation, and this is now what we need to do. So let me put this down. This is the Laplace transform of t squared e to the 4t, which we know now, negative 1 squared, which is positive 1. We just have to go ahead and differentiate this twice, right? So no more negative because negative 1 squared is positive, so this is just d2 over ds2 of 1 over s minus 4, which you know you can write it down as s minus 4 to the negative 1, right? So just like this. All right, uh, do it first. So you bring this to the front, minus 1. So I differentiate 1, so I still have to differentiate it again, right? So let me put down dds. The first one is going to give me negative and then s minus 4 to the negative 2, right? And technically, you have to do a chain rule, but the derivative of s minus 4 with respect to s is just 1, so multiply by 1, doesn't matter. Anyway, right here, do it again. So bring this to the front and then minus 1. So no more derivative because this will be the answer. 2 in the front, right, all together because negative, negative becomes positive 2. And then s minus 4 and then raised to the third power. Finally, I can put this down nice then nicely for you guys. All the two on the top over um, s, right? I'll put on the s in red. Minus 4, and then raised to the positive 3 power, like that. And that's it, right? So this is what you have to do uh, when you multiply by negative 2 with a function that you know. All right, so that's the answer. And let's look at the second way. What if you want to begin with knowing the Laplace transform of t squared? So let me show you. So right here, let me just put this down. Suppose I know the Laplace transform of t squared, like this first. And here the power is 2, whole number 2, right? So we can use that formula. This right here is the same as saying 2 factorial over s to the 2 plus 1, right? This is what we have. And now, this is not what we want, though. We need to multiply the inside by e to the 4t, right? So let me just put this down in the front, e to the 4t right here. Well, suppose the part in black is what we know already. Once you multiply the inside with e to the 4t, what do we have to do? All we have to do is, on the right-hand side, instead of s, you just have to plug in. Let me just tell you, plug in s minus whichever this number is, which is 4. s minus positive 4. That's all we have to do. So I will show you the Laplace transform e to the 4t 
And of course, the order of uh, multiplication doesn't matter, so this is how long to write it. Anyway, right here, 2 factorial is just 2 over, this is s, originally, if I didn't have e to the 4t. But now, since I do, I will plug in s minus 4 into this s, so I will have s minus 4, all right, raised to the 2 plus 1, which is, of course, the third power. And guess what? We are done. So as you can see, we do have these two property, and this is the comparison between which one that you would like better. Of course, utilize this, right? e to the 40 is just a shiftment, right? It's a translation in the S world. And if you multiply by t to something, it's however many times you have to differentiate, and also multiply by negative t1, whichever many times. Anyway, this is it.